What is up you guys? You're watching Sergio's Secrets. Before I get started with today's fun and exciting car vlog, if you can please give this video a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button. I'm posting every single day to further notice. I'm so happy. I feel like my normal self now. I feel like all the medicine and everything has been drained out of my system. I had maybe like two very kind of cloudy days and now I feel like my regular self. I feel like everything process, I've been through all my steroid packs. Like I just feel like a brand new person. A lot of things has happened. We will talk about it all. But today, you know how like in these little card blocks, I like to at least make, um, look at my little notebook. I got this at TJ Maxx like a year ago. I didn't even know I had it. I found it cleaning. So it's like my new little like YouTube idea book. And so like with these, um, with these car vlogs you know we i like to talk about different things but i always like to make at least one topic that's kind of the main so today's topic that we're going to be talking about should you be paying over retail for designer bags or just items that are out and about this goes for like shoes um handbags clothing should you be paying over retail on these items so we're going to talk about that in the next few minutes go ahead and go back so yeah like i literally feel like my regular self like i shaved a little bit like i put my hair back like like my regular self now i know my youtube has been lacking the last maybe less than a week and i'm back full force and i'm ready to april on and do my best on my april videos and yeah like i literally just feel like my regular self like i don't know if you guys knew this but I had a SD card that had like 10 or 15 videos filmed on it and my um, system got corrupted so I lost all that footage so now I have to kind of start from scratch but it's okay because you know I mean like I said everything's gonna be okay everything's gonna be fine all I have to do is just refilm it and you know what I've learned a lot of new stuff in the way of me filming those videos so if anything they're gonna be in bad conversation you know talking to you guys on the camera but then I, I thought I had a lot of afterthoughts on a lot of these items so I think at the end of the day it benefits us and maybe it was meant for me to lose those footage who knows but yeah guys so um i'll give you like a little outfit i know i'm showing you this bag like hang around with it oh so, yeah you guys already know i went and got a mi cafe Coco Sergio secret car vlog i always get asked what i get i get a venti ice caramel macchiato with extra extra caramel and yeah so i'm wearing this vin sweater i know it's probably not the most appropriate thing to wear outside just because i think it's like 70 degrees outside but um i'm in my car and i don't have, didn't really wear this a lot in the winter season and i really like it it's like a nice kind of vince cashmere little sweater i got this on sun or track so this is my new boot beauty that i got i will be sharing this in a haul i ordered a lot of new stuff guys so like i was on nordstrom.com right like just one day out of, out of randomness and they had a lot of like montclair jackets montclair jackets for 70 like the classic ones for 70 percent off and i bought two and i bought a beanie and then i bought a bunch of more stuff so all those should be arriving soon so after i post this video in a couple of days you'll be seeing my designer haul i also been getting questions asked about some new stuff that i haven't talked about on my channel i will be doing a haul of all the stuff that i purchased within the last month or you know the last two or three weeks ever since you know what started so stay tuned because you will be seeing that but yes this is my new baby i got her like maybe five or six days ago this is the coach cassie in the white for so much like she is everything i've always wanted a nice white bag but i kind of struggled to find the perfect white bag that i wanted for myself and i finally found this one right here which is the coach cassie and the all white or the all ivory and i just think it's such a beautiful bag i really like this i mentioned this in my favorite crossbodies under 300 dollars. i got this one on sale for 30 percent off if i could find this on sale i will link it down below including with everything else that i'll be talking about but yeah you guys already know the cassie is a very popular bag i like this kind of contrast with the kind of gold the white and this kind of camely lining sections and if it's quite a lot of stuff i'll go ahead and show you what i quickly have so i have a full size what i like is that you can fit a full size wallet in here you can fit some sunglasses i have these little wipes that i got from nordstrom um i have my favorite lip balms my dior and then my capri one this one's really good as well. That's what I'm wearing right now. I have a pair of AirPods. I have some TikTok, tick, TikTok video card. I have a um, hand sanitizer. I have my Louis Vuitton um, little clay. I have my um, oil blotting sheets. I have another credit card. And that's all I have in here. I haven't really stuffed it too much. I do have like some receipts and stuff as well. But you, that's a pretty generous amount and I could fit a lot more. I just really like this and I can't wait for all this to be over. I feel like I kind of mentally prepared myself. I feel like we are going to be like this for quite a while. I don't see this 
you know, it's it's now been um, 21 days since I have been or since like I've kind of stopped being out and about 21 days on Monday today's Tuesday in my heart to heart believe that this will be going on until June I don't see this leaving in the next two weeks in the next month I honestly feel like this is going to be for the long run and June is the earliest is because people are just gonna get tired guys people have bills people have rent people have things to get take care of I have things to get taken care of you know my dry cleaner <laughs> I literally my dry cleaners are like literally up to this like of clothes that I have to take there's so much stuff that I have to do and um, you know I, I had like I had a, some flights to some trips that I was supposed to take and I had to cancel them so like I just think people if it doesn't get resolved by June I feel like people are just not gonna care and people are just going to be going out and about living their lives and I know it sounds really bad I like it's taking a lot in me it's been these last 22 days I've been so kind of all over the place because I got sick and then I'm so weird because I feel like I'm in summer vacation like from high school or school when you don't have when you don't you know go back to school for like three months so um it's just kind of weird but i give it till june i honestly feel like if it doesn't get by june gonna hit the fan and things are gonna get a lot worse before they get better but i do think that i do honest to god think that it's gonna last all the way to june correct me if i'm wrong but i mean the way we've been going about stuff is just a little bit um not as fast as I would like it to be and so therefore the longer that people notice that this thing is serious longer we're gonna have to drag it out and there's unfortunately there's a lot of people that don't care like there's this girl <clears throat> that lives that lives very close to my city and um, I want to the picture right here and like she literally went to basically like Walmart and she said that she had you know what and she started like saying oh if I'm getting it everyone else is gonna get it so people like her like that are 18 um, you know thinking that they're all tough and thinking that they're all you know cool or whatever trying to impress people or trying to you know get fame or whatever they're trying to do people like her is the reason why we have to keep dragging this out for two or three or four or five weeks and I think they know like the government knows that this is gonna be dragging on for quite a while just because I mean if they were to tell us we're gonna be locked in till June or July imagine people would get go crazy like people would like lose it so they're just telling us like two or two three four five six weeks like in advance like kind of okay give us another two weeks give us another month so it's not like oh my god like this is this is how it's gonna be so I honestly feel like it's gonna be like that but enough of that we're not gonna be talking about this anymore but I just people have been asking about my thoughts and what do I feel that's how I feel um, like I said I mean it's it's sad and I don't really like it but at least I have you guys so um, I look forward to making YouTube videos and I look forward to talking to a lot of you guys I know I've been slacking on my Instagram I really haven't been um, active on Instagram but I will be better on videos on my YouTube channel but yeah guys I love my coach Cassie I think she's such a beautiful bag and whenever you know I can go back on vacation and you know start living my regular life this is going to be a bag that I'm gonna be using a lot like it's just the prettiest bag ever I've always wanted kind of like a white bag and I finally found it and one that's spacious one that's very classic one that will never go out of style I just feel like this is kind of my favorite white bag and yeah so let me guys know what you think down below do you guys own any white bags do you not like I said I this is my first one I've tried to own other white bags in the past but they just get really dirty easily so I really can't trust myself but I trust myself with this one just because it's a grainy leather so it's not gonna get as much color transfer um, as like some of the other bags and like I said I'm gonna be taking great care of this bag because I I want to preserve the bag for this the longest and usually I don't put bags in dust bags but I think for this one I will be putting it in a dust bag you know for me I like to this you guys already know you see my background I love to display my bags when I film and all that but I think that one I may let it, let it out for a video film but for the most part I think I do want to put that in the dust bag just because it's white and I don't want I want to preserve it for the longest I can and talk about today's topic so today's topic is going to be should you buy items over retail so I see a lot of youtubers and um, this is not knocking nobody's hustle this is not knocking people but this is just what I would do and what as of today my opinion can always change tomorrow next week a year two years ten years etc you know what I mean I'm allowed to change my opinion and I feel like sometimes on YouTube like you know people take your opinions very set in stone as of today and probably for like the next couple of months but it could completely change should you be paying over retail for items so let's see what are hot items that are people paying retail over 
we have the Louis Vuitton multi pochette accessory. I've seen a lot of people pay over retail $2,500 for a bag. I have seen people pay over retail for the Prada pochettes in all colors and the men's version and the women's version. The boots that look like the pochettes, I feel like a lot of people have been buying those over retail. I see people pay over retail for um, the Dior saddle bag when it first came out. Um, I, I think over retail is anything that I believe is, you know, anything over basically fifty or hundred dollars. Um, the Dior book toe. There's some variations that people are paying over retail. The Louis Vuitton Nano Speedy is something that people are paying over retail. The Louis Vuitton Nice in the BB size and like there's like two sizes: the the regular size and then the smaller size. The Louis Vuitton little vanity bag as well. The Dior vanity bag as well. Like Chanel vanity bags as well. So basically all vanity bags are going over retail. So these are just some of the items that people are paying over retail. The only thing I can really think of shoes other than the Prada ones are probably going to be um, shoes. I have seen very, very few people do pay over retail on that. And you know how like when Yeezys were very popular. I don't know. Those are so popular. Those are, those are another shoe that I would see a lot of people uh, pay over retail. So I ask sometimes like I get emailed or I, you know, I always get asked, you know, what are my opinions? What are my thoughts of paying over retail for designer items? So in my opinion, would I ever pay over retail for a designer item as of today? No, there's no way that I would ever pay over retail for anything. Um, these items are already expensive as they are. There's no way I would pay for the Prada multi pochette or even if I had the money to buy, um, let's say, a Hermes Birkin in a certain size and color combination that I'm paying five grand over retail. I really wouldn't do it. I'd much rather spend those five grand, build a relationship at Hermes, and at least get like product out of it or like get stuff out of it and then get what I actually want than buying it over retail. I just don't see myself, I don't see the reason for myself to be paying over retail. There's so many great deals out there. There's so many great items at full price. There's just so much more options than like the little few things that are people are paying over retail. And I, I don't know, for me, I just don't really like it at all. I don't like paying over retail for anything. Um, you know, there's a difference between paying over retail or maybe like if you go to, you know, if your friend goes to France and you're giving them maybe 20, maybe for giving them 50 or $100 extra to get you something or maybe 150 to get you something that's lower and you know, you're benefiting out of it because you are getting, you know, um, you are getting a deal at the end of the day. Let's say you buy a uh, Louis Vuitton art scene, you're saving $500, but you give the person that went to France $100 as a thank you. Then I think that opportunity cost is good and I I think that's fine if you're not necessarily paying over retail but you're helping somebody else because you know you're getting it lower to begin with what it would be in your own country like here in the US so I think in that sense I can see why you would do that but for myself I would never pay over retail for any of the items that people want are people popular I'd much rather take my chances of getting a maybe or getting a no like the multi push accessories that you guys already told you the story how like I went when I went to London I went to so many of the Louis Vuitton boutiques on multiple days repeated days asking for the multi push accessories nobody would offer to me I actually saw it at Harrods on the shoe floor and I said can I purchase that bag and they would not sell it and so you know I took my chance and I bought it at Heathrow Airport I saved I think now I think I saved like $650 because that bag just had another price increase so it went from $1,640 to $1,770 so now like I saved like over like 600 and something plus dollars so I think I got a really great deal on it um, I would never go out of my way to go on a reseller site or to go on StockX and pay over retail for something like I said there's so much more beautiful things out there so much things you can get on sale that for me I don't see that and to see that to get something um, I don't see it necessary for me to be paying over retail if I want something so bad then you know I would honestly rather wait until the item dies down in hype or I'd rather just get something else that will kind of satisfy me I just don't see myself think if there's something that I genuinely love so much that I would pay over retail and I can really not think of nothing um, there's just so much beautiful things out there that I can appreciate and I can love a lot more you know if it's not meant for me to get it it's not meant for me to get it and if it is like to push old Louis Vuitton push accessories it was meant for me to get it and I got it and if it wasn't meant for me then that's fine I would have bought it here back home at the Louis Vuitton boutique or maybe for some way somehow get it a little bit lower than what their than what the MSRP is but 
don't think you should be paying over retail. And I know like a lot of these like resale sites, like not there's only like very few that I'm kind of actually talking that actually they charge so much money, so much money, guys, for bags that like aren't even worth what it is. See me go to like what to Dillard's and look at their Louis Vuitton or look at their you know pre loved items. Those bags are pricey. You can honestly go to the Gucci boutique. Um, you can go on other websites and get like those exact same bags for a lot lower. Like there was like literally Louis Vuitton Speedies for about the same price or maybe $50 less that was so used at Dillard's. And I understand that, you know, maybe certain locations where, you know, Louis Vuitton boutiques are not readily available or, you know, maybe because I know like they offer zero APR if you um, get the bag for 12 months. So you, you can have 12 months of monthly payments. I can understand that. But at the end of the day, I don't think that's correct. And I don't think that's right that you should be charging almost what it is retail for an item that's super, super used. Now, it could be a different story. And let's say like I get my, you know, if I get my multi push accessory, right? It's a hot bag. People want it. And let's say like I, like I said, I think I paid like $1,200 or $1,300 for it. And I, you know, if I decide to sell it, let's say I sell it for $1,500 or $1,600. We're just saying example. I don't see my, I'm never going to sell that back as of today. Let's say I sell it for $1,600. Since I got it lower because I got it at the Heathrow Airport, which was tax-free and the lowest price possible. And also, um, the back has had like another, like two, basically two price increases. And, you know, yes, the, whoever's buying it is paying more than I did, but the bag is still lower here than the U.S., you know what I mean? I think that's okay, but just cold hard, someone going into the, let's say like this coach bag, someone goes into the coach boutique, buys this for $350, and then goes on stock X, and somebody goes and pays $600 for this. I don't think that, I don't, I don't, I don't know. I would never do that. Talking nobody's hustle. Like I'm not trying to talk, uh, talk down, but I just would never do that myself. Um, I just think that, I don't know, I feel like you shouldn't... See, people are smart because the people that do the resale stuff, they know that people are going to want it and people are going to be willing to be paying a premium no matter what. So, as much as, let's say, I'm an advocate, I'm talking about you shouldn't be buying full uh, stuff overpriced and what it is, people are still going to go out there, people are still going to want their items and people are still going to pay, you know, over retail and if that makes you happy and, and that's what you like, then do you. But for me, personally, I just never see myself comprando cosas like over retail like i just i just never i just could never see myself doing that like how i show you like i don't know like i basically had like longer and i just basically thinned it out i think it makes me look a lot more younger i don't know it makes me feel like a baby but yeah like would you would you pay over retail for something like i'm just trying to process like who pays over retail for these items like i couldn't me mean i can understand if let's say you want to give something as a gift and it's so hard to find and maybe you pay a little bit, but get these items, they take really, like, I wouldn't say they take advantage, because not like they're doing something very morally wrong, because technically, like, I mean, they did buy the item, they can sell it at whatever price they want to, and it's at a handbag or an accessory at the end of the day, so it's nothing really as serious as, let's say, like, other things, but I just, I don't know, I, I, I don't see myself ever paying over retail for something that, like, an accessory or a bag or something, like, I just can never see it, I think, if anything, I would take it as a sign that it's just not meant to be. Like, let's say if I go into Louis Vuitton and say, I want the Vanity PM, and they say, well, um, we just, it's not available, sir. We cannot get it to you. Like, we just cannot. Because um, that's how they would say to me uh, uh, in London. Oh, the multi push said, no, 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 not available. Totally cheap pouch, no, 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 not available. Um, and I would just be like, oh, okay. And I just, like, took it as a sign, and I said, maybe the next store, maybe whatever. And I think I appreciate the bag more because I kind of worked for it and I also got it for such a lower price. So for me, I appreciate the bag a lot more than if I would have just paid over retail or if I would have just gotten it the first time. I never see myself paying over retail, guys. Like, there's just nothing in the world that I could p process that I would ever pay retail. And I would, I would, I really want to hear your thoughts down below. I mean, I see, like I said, I like to observe things from like a third, third person point of view. And I could see both sides, how it is like, you know, a, you, the consumer gets what they want. Somebody makes a profit and, you know, it's a win-win situation because the client gets whatever they want and, you know, the person makes a profit. So that person makes a little bit of money. The person gets what they want and it's a win-win situation. But then I can see, well, you know, if you're buying like three of the bags and, you know, you're selling them, then you're taking them away from the, uh, like, the client that, are, that really wants it straight from a Louis Vuitton boutique. So I can kind of see both aspects of it. Like I said, I personally would not do it and I probably won't. 
I would just don't never see myself paying over retail for for something that is like materialistic like a bag like I said my mind could change it could be like the hottest Dior bag or the hottest let's say like coach collaboration bag that's out there and people will be paying over retail and if I really like it I I may do it but as of right now there's just nothing in this world that I could see myself paying over retail for if anything I would love to get something um I don't know I just I just don't think it's worth it guys and um i have been getting questions asked of how can you score the items that you know people want like the multi push accessories the product pouch bag like how can you get these items oh it's kind of skipping around the waiting line so i'll give you a little bit of a secret because um so as you know all louis vuitton boutiques are closed and as far as i know in north america so that includes mexico that includes canada and that includes Estados Unidos. they're all basically closed right and so Louis Vuitton is a French luxury company, right? Owned by LVMH. And they're a billion dollar company. And if their boutiques are closed, you know what I mean? I believe like most of luxury sales that are like over $500 are usually in store, not necessarily online. Because then it becomes a liability issue of, um, if the item gets damaged, if the item gets stolen, you know, credit card chargebacks, he said, she said. So it becomes more of a liability issue. So I think... Um, a lot of the sales do come mostly from boutiques and keep in mind close for the fashion industry has basically been closed for three weeks now three weeks and so you're losing you know so much volume and money you know what i mean how much do you think a louis vuitton boutique pulls in here like the one here in dallas like there's like multiple boutiques but i'm pretty sure the main one pulls in like hundreds of thousand dollars a day maybe not hundreds of thousands of dollars a day but i would say at least like a good hundred thousand dollars a day on a slow day and like on a weekend maybe like half a million dollars or four hundred thousand dollars like i believe they pull in thousands and thousands of dollars so if your store is closed you're you're potentially losing millions of dollars right and so i people have been asking me sergio i really want the multi push accessory i really want the vanity i really want these sneakers or whatever they want and I have personally been on the Louis Vuitton website multiple times throughout the days and a lot of these items are available you, It's just they only have like two or three and they sell out really fast Like I saw the multi pochette accessory and the pink and the green strap. I've seen the vanity bag I've seen the niece um, the niece BB. I think the regular size I've seen those and the toiletry pouch 26 I've seen those items on the Louis Vuitton website multiple times throughout the day now i may go on it like when i first wake up i'll check on my um, computer and i'll say some of them will be ready to place in cart or none of them will be it's just kind of a, a it's kind of a a game you just have to keep checking it consistently and it will pull up it's kind of like fashion file like you want to see what their new arrivals are so you just have to kind of like consistently check through the day um to see what they have and that's how it is with louis vuitton so all their sales right now are are all coming from dot com online are only coming from online sales and they need to push that volume and make money because at the end of the day louis vuitton is a business selling luxury goods as handbags shoes ready to wear jewelry etc so um yes a lot of right now is actually a better time to be purchasing these items than if it was in your boutique because if it was in boutique well you know if, let's say they have 50 bags for a week right and you know they send you know 30 of them or 40 of them to the boutiques to spread them out and then they'll call their client and you know they'll get the bag so it's very more unlikely that you would get it versus online all the bags are straight going to the louis vuitton website so they can sell through them so if you really want any of the hard, hard to find louis vuitton items you just have to check throughout the day and the items will become available and i don't know hopefully somebody that is watching this video will attest for this and will say that you know what i'm saying is true because it is a lot of these items you can find are placing cart if for whatever reason throughout the day if i'm checking by the time i upload this video because i may upload this video today like as you're watching this tuesday or maybe wednesday um my word for it i promise you they are in um stock and that they are throughout the days like they'll have they'll pull a few of them on the website and they'll be available to place in cart so like i said if you ever wanted a hard to reach item i think right now as much as i hate to say this situation is really bad right now is a really great time to get a lot of those hard to find um lv products um, if you really want them and a lot and also for the other brands um it's kind of hard now the product pochette i i don't know how that one works because i know the original one like the one with the one handle not with the with the other with the reissue 2005 with the extra pouch 
That one I believe is a boutique exclusive, so I don't think you can get that one online. But I'm pretty sure once the boutiques open, they're going to want to sell through them. You know what I mean? They're losing millions of dollars in volume. You know what I mean? These are multi-billion dollar brands that they need that money to keep going, keep, you know, doing all the, you know, keep, you know, putting more into the brand. So they, they, they want their money. They want to collect their checks at the end of the day. I know it sounds a little bit kind of harsh, a little bit more kind of reality facing me kind of saying it like that, but it's true. Like I said, I got literally Montclair jackets for 70% of a lot of these stores have to sell through the product if they want to survive. Dealers is literally have been doing 50% off clearance for literally the last couple of days. It went, yeah, 50 day, 50% 50 off. And it wouldn't shock me if they do 60. It wouldn't shock me if Macy's has an other, another uh, lower prices. These stores are struggling for their lives. Not all of them. Some of them are going to be okay. Some of them will survive. Like Louis Vuitton will survive. And like, you know, some of the other like department stores will survive. But I feeling like right now, like I feel like JCPenney's is literally like on a thread. I like JCPenney. People don't really care for JCPenney. Um, but I genuinely do like JCPenney. There's like a newly remodeled store here in Hearst, Texas. And a lot of bloggers went to it when the first and the Dallas cheerleaders and everybody. Um, it's like a new kind of concept store. I want to film a video there once all this is over. Definitely. They have like a coffee place. Like it just looks, it literally looks like a department store from like Europe. Or it looks like a department store from like canada or from like mexico like it looks like a very nice department stores jc penny like i feel bad for them but i right now they're kind of in a financial hole so i don't know how they're gonna survive this i hear like amc theaters is kind of like hanging on a thread as well so a lot of these stores are kind of you know hanging on threads and you know we'll see how this will uh, this will affect retail over time and this will affect everything over time but you know, it's only been three weeks and a lot of these stores are struggling and a lot of people don't want to spend money. You know what I mean? For when I was sick, I did not spend money until I started going online shopping. And you can't blame me, guys. Like, literally, I got two Montclair jackets classic for 70% off. They're actually supposed to arrive tomorrow. And I got a Montclair beanie and I got um, a Vince um, wool sweater for 90% off on Orchard Mac. I got a good American camel jacket for 90% off on Orchard Mac. I got... Um, I got that coach bag. I got that all Saints bag. The all Saints bag still hasn't even came yet. <laughs> and it's been almost like 15 days. Um, I got, I don't know. I got a, quite a bit of stuff. So you'll be seeing that in my haul. I have been kind of like now spending a little bit of money. Just because like literally guys, Montclair jackets for 70% off. Like, and when you see them, you're going to be like, well, like they're nice. And they're my size too. At first I thought, oh, they're not going to be, but they're my size. I'm a size... I'm technically a size three in Montclair, but I like my stuff to be oversized and I like to layer sweaters and I like to layer other stuff on them. So I am a size four, which is a size US 10, eight to 10. Usually I'm um, six to eight um, for Montclair, but um, eight to 10 is my size, size four, just because I like my stuff to be oversized and I like to layer my items. And I don't know, I feel like if it's too tight, you can't really breathe, especially if size usually on Montclair, but yeah i know we're kind of getting off topic but um like these stores have to sell through the items and like i said i i don't see some of these stores coming out of it like honestly i don't know how jc penny's gonna do it jc penny's headquarters here is in is in plano and i don't really know how they're gonna survive and some of these brands like do you guys if you guys know any brands that you may potentially think that it could affect their long-term business obviously all the brands are or just like a lot of businesses in general smaller and bigger ones but I wouldn't be surprised if like stores like JC Penny, um, if they survive. I think Kohl's will survive. I like Kohl's a lot. I used to work at Kohl's. It was my first retail job, but um, I just feel like um, I just don't know, guys. Like I just, it's kind of weird to kind of see everything, and you know, I, that's why I've been. You know, if there's a great deal, I will buy it because I get to support the retailer. I get a good price. Oh, I didn't tell you guys. I forgot. I literally forgot. So Neiman Marcus was having a sale, right? Um, like Bergdorf and um, Neiman's and they and I you know usually when I search stuff I put like highest discount and I, there was like a lot of stuff for 80% off like a lot of um, like Veronica Beard like little shirts like some Rag and Bone stuff and like um, there was just like a lot of great deals for like 80% off and like prices like that when it was already gone in my size like I'm a pretty popular size like for women's jeans I'm usually like a 26 to a 28 usually 26 27 it just depends the brand and this and um, like if it's stretch or no stretch and for like tops a small if it runs a little bit big or like a true medium and then for um, shoes it's like a 41 and so that that shoe size is kind of hard so a lot of things that I saw was already kind of out of my size but there 
I did get lucky. Maybe I didn't get lucky because it wasn't a big discount as well. But I mean, I think it was a big discount. So you guys know that I love Vince. Vince is one of my favorite brands. Like this sweater is from Vince. Like Vince is just very high quality. I have had Vince stuff since high school that I still wear consistently. I think Vince is such a great brand and it's a brand that I will always love. It's a very clean, minimalistic brand. Like I actually have a pair of, of, of Vince shoes in my car. Right, are they Vince? I actually exchange it out in sizes once the stores open, but um, you know, since the stores are closed, I haven't been able to exchange it out, but it's basically like a black leather, leather sneaker. I love Vince so much, you guys. Vince is one of my favorite brands. And so I was on the way. I've always wanted a leather blazer and the leather blazers at Zara that are like real leather are like 250, $300. And like the faux ones are like 100 to 150. And there was a Vince leather blazer size medium for three hundred dollars seventy percent off from a thousand and you know i usually don't buy a lot of stuff at neiman's just because all our stuff is final so or it makes it more complicated to return it but it said free shipping and return so if it doesn't work out i will be returning it and the warehouse the warehouse isn't too far from my house um because um the warehouse is here in irving so it's like literally not too far away and so I was just like, oh, like, you know, I should order it and if it doesn't work out. But tell me why, you know, the, the thing ships from Irving, right? Irving, Texas from Irving. And tell me why it gets sent to Tyler, Texas. And just to come right back to basically Irving. I, I, I just don't understand that. So it is going to take, a, it is going to be taking a while for it to come. I think I ordered it like Sunday or Friday, Saturday. I ordered it Saturday night and it won't come until Saturday. So it's now basically like a week. I don't know like I just I feel like my regular self now and I feel like I can like right now I'm about to film a few videos like I always have like a lot of like um I always have like a lot of video ideas like I my handwriting is really bad I'm left-handed but um like I basically my order notebook which is like a regular notebook from like Target that I literally found this cleaning up um my house and I got it at TJ Maxx like a while back it's from like Ray Dunn and like the other one I like literally basically like used all of it so <laughs> i needed another one so i like this one and i like to write my thoughts and i like to write my ideas i know that sounds kind of weird and i used to never do that but i don't know i just been into like writing and reading and i just been kind of into that type of stuff now and i forgot how much i love to write i literally like to write my thoughts i like to write um like i don't know i just always like to write and you know um usually i'm always like in a computer and i don't know for me like writing my thoughts or writing like ideas or writing just stuff on my computer like like or like on notes on your phone isn't the same like it's not it's not the same as like writing it down on a pin so for me like i just like writing stuff on a plain notebook for me i just feel like i i, I it feels more authentic for me and for you know my handwriting may not be perfect but i just like that i take time to write things out i think for me that's like a lot better i don't know because uh, usually when I write emails and stuff, like, it's just, like, it's, I feel like it's more, it sounds more, like, professional. It's, like, more, um, I, it has to be more proper, and that's kind of how I set myself up. So, I think on my notebook, you know, <laughs> it says notebook on it, I feel like I can kind of, you know, take time and kind of write everything out, you know, a little bit more perfectly, and I can write whatever I want. I think I'm going to end the car vlog here because I am going to be filming two videos today, and I definitely want to probably get this one up today for a fresh head start. Like I said, I feel like a lot better. I feel like a million times better. Like, I feel like I'm back to being my regular Sergio Secret self. And I'm so excited to be filming a lot of new videos. And I literally have been getting, like, for me, like, I write all my video ideas out. So now I feel so inspired. I have so much video ideas and so much things I want to be doing. And I'm back to my regular self. As I'm filming this video, I think I was in 960 subscribers. So hopefully in the next like 40 hours or maybe the next 24 hours, we should reach 15,000 because that would be amazing. And I would literally love that so much. Like imagine 15, like my quince, like 15. And you know, this is just the beginning, you know, you never know where my channel could go. 15 turns into 20, 20 turns into 30, 30 turns into 50, 50 turns into 70, 70 turns into 100. So you never really know guys. So yeah, I'm so excited to be finally having 15,000 subscribers. I feel like it's like my quinceanera, like 15. And yeah, I don't know, just really exciting. And you guys are gonna be following me along my journey. And I'm so glad that all of you guys are um, loyal viewers and loyal subscribers. I know a lot of you guys comment on my stuff and I really see that. And I wanna say thank you, thank you so much for taking the time to comment. Like I said, I haven't really been replying on my DMs on Instagram. I've been kind of inactive on Instagram. Like I'll go in there like two or three minutes and then just kind of stop. And like maybe like two or three times a day, I've been more focused like on, you know, just more myself, but um, I will be back and if I didn't reply to a DM just put like oh hi can you read my 
other dm and i'll just reply been a little bit more inactive but um yeah guys thank you thank you so much for watching this little sergio secret card vlog i appreciate every single one of you los quiero mucho los quiero tanto take care don't forget to give this video a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you on tomorrow's video posting every single day now at 10 a.m every single day that's going to be my set schedule and i'm going to stick to it so yeah be prepared to be seeing more sergio secret videos bye guys thank you so much los quiero mucho i'll see you guys on the next one bye